The actress Joanna Lumley, who's led calls for Gurkha veterans to be allowed to settle in the UK, says a member of the royal family has privately expressed support for her campaign. Ms Lumley was giving evidence today to MPs and said she was astonished that the rules hadn't been changed on the issue, despite public and parliamentary backing. Laura Koonsberg reports. Back for more. Joanna Lumley, actress turned campaigner. MPs may have voted to extend Gurkha rights, but that hasn't yet changed the law. I don't know what I have to do. I don't know who else I go to now. We've gone to the high courts, we've gone to the press, we've gone to the people of the country, and we've gone to Parliament. If that's not enough, who do we go to? One of the royal family apparently supports Ms Lumley's attempts to persuade the government to allow all Gurkhas to live here. She won't say who, other than it's not a senior royal. Justice will be done. But she's garnered public support for the campaign that's gone from the High Court to Downing Street to Parliament. Ministers are looking again at the rules but say letting all Gurkhas stay would cost too much. Political populism uh, doesn't change the facts and the facts uh, of finance and the legal precedents are we contend real. No one really knows just how much it would cost the taxpayer if every Gurkha veteran were to come and live here. The government says it could be more than a billion pounds, but other estimates are less than half that. And not allowing Gurkha veterans to settle in this country comes with its own political price tag. This isn't a question of penny pinching or legal wrangling. It's about a simple moral principle. I think if someone's prepared to die for this country, then they deserve to have the right to live in this country. I am a- Cheers from Joanna Lumley and the Gurkhas were perhaps premature last week. No sign yet of new rules. But the actress is demanding a private meeting with the Prime Minister and he'll find that hard to refuse. Laura Koonsberg, BBC News, Westminster. Gordon Brown tried to retake the initiative today after a torrent.